What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now, today, 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 uh, we're coming to you with some sub breaking news. The Browns just went out and signed Rodney, uh, Rodney McLeod. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I gotta get better with these players' names, but they just went on to sign Rodney. He played last year on the Colts. Uh, so the Browns went out and got another defensive piece. Now, a lot of people were complaining and confused on why we hadn't went out and you know. Got a guy in the draft with how deep the draft was. You know, we had a lot of people that we had like fourth round gray zone fall into us in the fifth or sixth. Um, and a lot of people were kind of upset that we didn't go out and draft those guys. Uh, a lot of people feel like we needed another safety. So, um, looking at our safety room, before we get into Rodney, we have Grant Delpit. Pretty sure he's the youngest guy there. We got Juan Thornhill, who has Super Bowl experience. And now we're adding Rodney along to go with David Bill, who's pretty much a special teamer. But now we're adding Rodney McLeod. Now, Rodney has Super Bowl experience. Um, he went, and I'm pretty sure he won a Super Bowl with the Eagles. So now we got two. Uh, I, I would say Juan is like a sub-vet. You know what I'm saying? I won't say he's a fully vet, but you know, he's like a sub-vet. You got Grepit, uh, Grant Delpit kind of learn. I said Grepit. <laughs> Grant Delpit, that's the young guy with the most potential. And we got Rodney McLeod coming in now as the old kind of veterinary guy. Now, Rodney had the second highest PFF grade last year, playing 16 games along with the Texans. Not the Texans, the Colts. Um, so he had 67 solo tackles. I got his numbers here. He had two interceptions, 38 receptions allowed. And um, that was six, I think. It was lower than... Um, Juan Thornhill. So he actually has a better PFF grade than Juan Thornhill, but he's kind of an older guy, um, and he has a lot of heart. Now, he's only 5'11", not a big guy. Um, now, this is one of Jim Swartz's recommendations. Uh, pretty sure Swartz went out in an interview some a long time ago, said, like, he got a great heart. He's a great guy. He knows how to play the game of football. Um, getting this guy after the draft, and I'm not saying PFF is something we live and die by, but he has the second best PFF grade with an 80.1, um, higher than Juan, higher than Grant Delpit. I think this is a good idea and a good um, good deal by the Browns. Now, the contract hasn't came out yet. Um, I feel like it's like a vet man because I think he's a little bit older. Um, but this is a good guy. You know, um, he played a great game in the second half of the season. Uh, second half of the Colts season, he was where he really emerged. He had that walk-off interception against the Texans. Uh, well, he didn't walk off. I'm pretty sure the Texans won that game, and that's how they lost out on um, the first pick in the draft. But he had that pick six against the Texans. Pretty sure he got a pick against the Chiefs as well. Um, he played outstanding in that game against the Chiefs where he went out and the Colts upset it. Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs handed on one of their, what, three losses that year? Uh, so, yeah, so adding him to this safety room, I really like it. Now he's more of a versatile. He don't play in a box. He's not. He's like almost like a pass cover safety. So with adding him, he's not really like a box safety, um, but he is a great tackler as well. Um, we could get him in there with pass coverages and passing schemes, and we could have Grant play a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage. And you know Grant is one of our best tacklers on our defense now. A defense that need more tacklers. Uh, Grant was one of our best tacklers on our defense. So we can now move Grant down there closer to the line of scrimmage. Have JOK, AWOL, Grant. And then we can have Roddy in the back or we can have Juan in the back. Let Grant play a lot more box safety, which is good. He could come down and crash and run fits. Um, another thing that I noticed that Rodney really excelled at and really was good at was also screen plays. Um, so just being a disciplined football player, you know, he's not as big or he's not like, you know, athletically gifted as like somebody like, uh, um, I, I can't even think of a big, like Grant Delpit, you know, he's not one of those type of guys. So he's one of the smarter, older veterinarian guys, you know, so it's good to have one of those guys in the locker room. Now, the, another good thing that I like is that he has Super Bowl experience. So we got in two different safeties that got Super Bowl experience. Um, and then Juan, we're bringing him in, you know. Juan has played in so many big games for the Kansas City Chiefs. So they're used to that preparation. So it'll be easy for them 
to get Grant prepared because I mean we expect it to. This is a this is playoff or bust, you know, second round or bust season for the Cleveland Browns. So we're expecting to have to play in meaningful games. So I feel like what Juan and Rodney can really do more than anything because the the guy with the most potential on our secondary um, for our safeties at least is Grant Delpit. So I feel like they they can mature and help and show Grant how to prepare for those big games and big moments and you know how to move and go out through stuff. Um, now, almost I find this deal this move kind of similar to when we went out and got a walk. Um, if you guys remember, we went out and got a walk also from the coast. Um, we kind of starting to get a lot of guys from the coast on our defensive end, but not defensive end, but defensive side of football. Uh, we went out and got A-Walk, and A-Walk was like a good vet. You know what I'm saying? He's not bad. He's not the best player in the world. But he's going to lead. He's going to be disciplined, and he's going to help your young guys grow. I feel like this is the same thing with bringing in Rodney. And then we also have Quan. that's like a hybrid. That's kind of like a young merging into an older cat. Um, yeah, that's, what, that's pretty much what I would say about it. Um, I, I like this move a lot. It gives me a lot of comfortability as far as safety. I feel like we're good at safety now. Um, we'll probably have Delpit, Juan, Rodney, and um, DeAnthony Bill. That'll probably be our four safeties right there. I, I'm pretty cool with that. Now, we could probably sign a guy to, like, uh, I'm guessing, like, the practice squad, you know, just in case somebody gets hurt or goes down, knock on wood. Knock on wood, that doesn't happen. But, yeah, I really enjoy and like this move, man. Um you guys comment down below how you feel about it. It's not one of those Jim Swartz picks. Now, his last pick was Ikea. And nobody's really a big fan of Ikea yet. So, I mean, some people are, but I'm personally not. Um, I was just listening to Quincy Carrier's thoughts on him. And I was like, eh, I don't know about this one. So, another one of them Jim Swartz picks. But we got three um, above average safeties. And I like that. I, I'll say we got like three B minus safeties. Um, three B minus B safeties. And that's pretty good. We, it's kind of like mirroring with the Bengals had. You know, the Bengals last year had a good defensive coordinator, a good defense, and they didn't have a whole bunch of superstars. They had Von Bell. Uh, they had, I mean, you could maybe say that uh, Jesse Basa was a star. Uh, but they had a whole bunch of just good cats out there playing hard, disciplined football. If the Browns could get it like that to where Delpit, Juan and Rodney is just playing hard, good football. They're more than capable of being a great back end. And then we also have super, super elite talent with Greg Emerson and um, Denzel. So that's six That's six DBs right there. That is good in ball coverage. And now we got some more guys that's going to be more disciplined and lead. So I really like that a lot. We got JOK and AWOK. I love that too. If we could just keep JOK on the field. And keep a walk on the field. If we could just keep these guys on the field, this is has a very, very high potential to be a, a at bare minimum a top fifteen defense at bare minimum. You know, so I honestly love this pick and love this pickup. I think now we are probably about one D. Like I would go out and get Melvin Ingram. Or Justin Houston. That's just me. Um, I think we're now we're probably about one or two defensive linemen away from being a and a top ten defense. And I, I know we come out and say, <laughs> and say this like we still have Clowney on our team. I, I would say we a top ten defense by far. But you know, Clowney burnt that bridge. That's why you never burn bridges, y'all. You always just take the high road. But I don't know, man. You guys comment down below and you guys let me know how you feel about it. Who would you want to bring in as that last veterinary piece? Do you think the Browns are bringing another D? I do think uh, bringing in Melvin Ingram would be nice. Melvin Ingram or Justin Houston? I I take I'll probably take Melvin Ingram, and then maybe a defensive tackle prospect. I'll be pretty cool with that, you know. Um, so you got actually we actually do got a whole bunch of defensive tackle prospects already on our team. So I'll take Melvin Ingram at bare minimum. Now if we could find another DT out there. I'll be over the moon for it. But I think it's probably going to be a little bit more important for us to go get like a backup running back to backup Jerome Ford uh, just in case he's not good enough and he doesn't plan out. But 
that's not the here nor there. Make sure y'all comment and subscribe. I got this video out quick for y'all boys, man. Told y'all daily uploads. We're going to be trying to do videos at least every other day. I got three other videos on a back burner just waiting to be uploaded. But I'll rush this to the front because this news just dropped literally like 30 minutes ago. So hit that sub button. It's your boy, Will. Dogs up. We out.